just tell me um, what your name is and where you live? Um, Veronica Sharinger, and I'm staying here. We rented it for about a week and a half because my daughter works at the Forum, and the shuttle was inconvenient an hour each way. She's pulling like 14 hour days at least, so that would make 16. So we rented this probably two days prior to last Friday. And uh, what we call the brownies, which is the large groups of troops in brown uniform, which is generally just Tampa PD, and they're recruited from other counties in Florida. They were doing their exercises coming up and trying to discourage us from staying here, saying things like there are going to be 4,500 people here, and can we go through your yard to make sure there's no objects, projectiles that they could possibly heave or throw? And um, my answer to them was, well, isn't that what you're here for, to protect us? And that was fine, except for... Um, I guess since they, we're not on the list of being so close to the RNC and right across, obviously, from the Tampa Bay Forum, the event, um, they don't have the names of the people staying here. So, Sunday night, we left for about an hour. We noticed on Saturday night when we leave, we're being followed by, you know, numerous cars come and go, and it's just not. Um, and Sunday night, when we left for about an hour, because my daughter's sick, she had to get some cold medicine, we were gone 7.30 to 9.30. When we returned, the house was open, and all the cupboards were open. Things were pulled out onto the floor. All the bags were gone through to look for identification papers of any sort. My daughter had a large thing of peroxide in a brown container because she has stitches in her hand. Um, and that was taken because obviously peroxide is illegal to have for wound care. So we're out of peroxide. But it was just the fact that things were taken out of backpacks, moved from one room to another, zippered files, folders were unzipped, folders were out any sort of discerning papers to tell any kind of identification, not to mention whatever else, was gone through. And when we came back, of course, um, well, the um, brownies, what we call them, because it was somebody that was let through. This was a team probably from the military. Let them over the fence on the corner there, because we're no more than 25 feet, 30, 50, at the corner of this house to the corner of the barricade. And um, so the brownie said that the door was wide open. So I'm assuming that this window, this lock is broken, and this is the entryway of where they made entry because it's real easy. And they knew when we were leaving. They knew when we were coming back. And so when we leave today, we walked around downtown Tampa. They're not leaving trekking mud in like they used to. But they're wetting the back porch, for what reason, who knows, just to make us aware that they're there, or that they're coming, th to make us think they're coming in, and they're not, I and mean, I don't really understand the purpose, it's the only place that's wet when it hasn't rained. Did you call the police and ask them why yeah, they're doing it? We, we, we did, but, you know, I don't, they're just very skeptical know of the situation mm -hmm. and it was very obvious because folders were, piled, were pulled out and taken from room to room to the kitchen and we were called squatters. We've moved in temporarily. The carpets are all ripped up. It doesn't, it's not a home home. This is more like a rental that you rent for a week and a half. We put in our own mattress, you know, which is on the floor and we're just staying here because it's an event and the daughter happens to be working it. So what better place to be? So how did it make you feel when you found out all this intrusion? Basically it just verified what I thought before. That people aren't lying when they say that they're near 
hot spots, so to speak, political hot spots, where all sorts of constitutional rights are being violated. You know, they have no reason to be paranoid, that paranoid, to invade someone's privacy. Had they just asked to do an impromptu, you know, we would have had no problem with that. At all. I mean, if they should, they were here days and days. We were both all here together before the any um, parade ever came by. So they had days and days they could have done an impromptu, and of course they watch us coming and going. There's surveillance everywhere. So they could have seen, and we would have let them in to see and explain. And if they wanted to ask for identification, they could have asked. Have the protesters disturbed you? No, not at all. Not at all. There haven't been any. <laughs> um, surprised by the lack of. The first day, the first parade that ran through here, the parade route was sort of changed. It was coming straight down the street, and then they would deposit there. They since put a barricade up, and then that's where they're going to deposit now. The first set of parade goers attached signs all along the fence, and then about six hours later, the city public works department came down and detached all the signs and took them away. Right. Thanks. I'm going to show everyone where we are. That's the designated protest area, and the forum is just around the corner. Kind of see it there. <laughs>